Sometimes you just have to believe in yourself. Nothing can be achieved until first it's believed. You have to believe it to see it. Sometimes the easiest way to get what you want is to just start. To just take that first step. You can do and be anything that you want, no matter what. No matter what you've been told and conditioned to think growing up. Start from today to believe that you can. We know what we want, but we don't do anything to actually go and get it. All the while that you're standing around waiting, doubting yourself, telling yourself you can't have this and you can't have that for whatever reason, you're never going to get it. Focus on how your life will be better and what your life will look like when you get what you want. Greatness isn't achieved by that one massive thing you do. It's those tiny little consistent baby steps we take every single day that add up to achieving that goal. Amazing things happen when you believe you have something. Your brain actively goes out to make it happen. Believe that you can do it and work hard to get it and it's yours. We are all born with the same amount of time in a day. And anything that they can do, you can do too. If you want to do something bad enough, you can get it. I need you to believe because I can be up here speaking and up here sweating and up here crying and pouring my heart out to you but if you have the mindset like nothing is ever going to change like some of you when they was doing that play and they was doing that skip some of you felt it some of you was like wow they sharing my story but there was still a little voice in the back of your mind that said yeah but that's not really going to change or yeah it's easier said than done no 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 listen to me hear me loud and clear your mindset your belief system it's everything and it is so powerful and so I came all the way from Atlanta Georgia to tell you you were not a mistake you were not an accident you were here for a reason I know you're going through some hard times I know life at times might feel rough or you might feel weird or things might be frustrating but it's not gonna always be like this your condition is not your conclusion there is so much more that's gonna take place there is so much more power that's inside you if you make up in your mind I choose to believe that I could do great things and I want you to seriously think about your life I like think about where you are internally. We have a group of people in here. Some of you, you're, you're, you're struggling yourself. Some of you are just trying to get by. You've got so many pressures on you. You want to make your family proud. You, you know what I'm saying? You want to get good grades. You want to make people proud. But then you also have friends and you want to be cool in their eyes and you want to kind of fit in there. And then some of you are in a really real place. You feel like people don't understand you. You feel like you're having a hard time to connect with people. When you wake up in the morning, you feel like you're in the slumps and you feel tired and drained. Like, I get it. I've got a message for you, right? The people, those of you that's looking for acceptance from others, you're going to have to make up in your mind and say, you know what, whether you accept me or not, I'm amazing, I'm smart, I'm beautiful, I'm talented, because if not, if you live for their acceptance, you'll die from their rejection. So you got to tell yourself, you know what, I know I'm amazing, and I know I'm smart. And those of you that feel like you're in a really weird place, those of you that feel like nobody understands you, those of you that feel like, man, I'm just here, but I, I'm, I'm having a hard time connecting with people, you lost your zeal. You lost your passion. You know, you feel like, you know, what's the point of living? You feel like you could relate to what they were doing in the skit. Here's my advice to you. Don't keep it to yourself. The worst thing that you can do when you're in that dark place is to just let that thing push you off in the corner. I'm going to challenge you to come to the light and be bold and be brave enough and be vulnerable enough to say, hey, you know what, I need help. I can't do this by myself. And you know why I'm an advocate for that so much? It's because to this day, I'm in my 30s and I still got counselors I meet with. And I still have counselors and therapists that I sit down with. And I have a counselor of people that I can meet with and connect with. Crazy, right? Some people look at me and they see our nonprofit in South Africa. They see how we're feeding and clothing people. They see my family, my wife. They, they see all of that and they're like, oh, Jeremy, your life's just so awesome. And I'm like, you know what? My, you know, life is good, but that don't mean I don't have struggles. That don't mean I don't have doubts. That don't mean that I don't have some insecurities. That doesn't mean that, you know, I don't sometimes question like, man, am I good enough? Sometimes I still hear that voice. Sometimes I go back to like being that little boy in the hallway that ever heard that teacher tell my mom that I wasn't high school material. Then I have to remind myself like, no, 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 that, that, no that, that's not true. 
I am that. I can do that. I can achieve that. Sometimes I have to remind myself, what am I telling you? Like life can be hard, life can be rough, but there's something special and there's something powerful about the human mind and about the human spirit and about the human will when you tell yourself, I won't give up, I won't surrender, I won't quit. I'm going to show up every single day and do the best that I can. And here's the beautiful thing about you is while you're going through your process and while you're trying to navigate these waters and while you're still, you know, trying to tweak some stuff within yourself, you still got the power to save somebody else's life. You got the power to speak up for others. You got the power to be the voice of reason for someone who might be on the verge of doing something they shouldn't do. You have the power of saying, hey, I saw this going on. I know this isn't right. You have the power to put your arm around somebody that might be in a really rough place. You have the power when you see that person sitting by themselves in the cafeteria, you, you slide over by them. Even if they make you feel like you're weird, that's fine because they're going to go home and they're going to think like, wow, somebody actually saw me. Somebody actually sat by me. Like you have the power to compliment someone and say, hey, I like those kicks or I I like your hair or I like your style like you have the power to brighten somebody's day your words are powerful your energy is powerful and so I don't want you all to think that you have to have it all together and everything for you has to be perfect in order for you to be a leader no 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 no. you can make an impact you can make a difference you can save somebody's life right now by you just being unapologetically you and you walk in that calling and you speak life and you affirm and you let others know I see you and I'm with you and I got your back and you're not by yourself and I will hold your hand as you go throughout this journey and even though I'm struggling I don't mind fighting on behalf of you and we're gonna figure this thing out together there's a good chance that all you've ever been told or made to feel in your life so far is that you can't do shit that every time you even dared to dream your life could be better, you were shot down or laughed at. Made to feel small, made to feel useless, made to feel like an idiot for even thinking you could be more. All of us have had these moments in our life where just at that point we thought it was possible, a massive shadow of doubt was thrown on us, normally by someone close to us. All you've ever done when you thought about that thing that you want is picture all the hard work and shit it'll take to get there. You paint such a negative picture in your mind of all this pain that your brain does everything it's supposed to and keeps you safe and avoids the pain. Because of this picture you're painting, your brain will associate pain with that thing you want and do everything in its power to avoid it. When you think it's not going to be possible and you're going to fail, your brain thinks disappointment, which is pain, and it avoids it. When you think it's going to be hard work and it's going to take ages, your brain thinks pain and avoids it. The first thing you've got to do to get what you want is believe that you can. Believe it's possible for you to have it. And if there's someone out there that has done it or got what you want, why the fuck ain't it possible for you? Believe that you can, and once you want something and believe that you can get it, you've got to block out all of the noise around you that's going to tell you you can't do it. Don't listen to all that shit, just believe that you can. The next thing you've got to start doing is focusing on all the good shit that will happen when you get what you want, not all the shit you've got to go through to get there. Focus on how your life will be better and what your life will look like when you get what you want. Focus on all the shit in your life now and how getting what you want will get away from all that shit. You do this and your brain will think that by helping you get what you want, you're moving away from pain and towards pleasure. You can do anything you want in this life, anything at all, but you've got to believe it's possible and work your ass off to get it. I can remember hearing this old story. A gentleman was walking through an elephant camp and he spotted that the elephants weren't being kept in cages or anything like that or being held by chains. All that was holding them back from escaping the camp was this small little piece of rope that was attached to their ankle. As the man gazed upon the elephants, he was completely confused as to why the elephants didn't just use all of their strength to break the rope and escape the camp. They could easily have done so, but instead they didn't try at all. The man was curious and wanted to know more, so he asked one of the trainers nearby why he thought the elephants were just standing there and never even tried to escape. And the trainer replied, when they're very young and much smaller, we use the same size rope to tie them. And at that age, it's enough to actually hold them and stop breaking out. As they grow up, they're conditioned to believe that they can't break away. They believe that the rope can still hold them, so they never even try to break free. The only reason that the elephants weren't breaking free and escaping from the camp was that over time they've adopted this belief that it wasn't possible. 
The moral of that story is that no matter how much the world tries to hold you back, always continue to believe that what you want to achieve is possible. You know, believing you can do something uh, successful is the most important step in actually achieving it. You can do and be anything that you want, no matter what. No matter what you've been told and conditioned to think growing up, start from today to believe that you can. You can have that thing that you want, all right? It's yours, it's staring you in the face, right in front of you. But you've got to take it. All the while that you're standing around, waiting, doubting yourself, telling yourself you can't have this and you can't have that for whatever reason, you're never gonna get it. Just like that elephant, you might have this little rope around your leg and you've been conditioned to think that it's holding.